Hi everybody and welcome back to another long-awaited what's for dinner week of dinners. So I'm starting out this video by putting together some lasagna roll-ups. This is just some cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, and parmesan that I put into a pre-sauced lasagna roll-up shell and then obviously I roll it up, lasagna roll-ups. This is just another twist on lasagna that I've seen around and it's super good, super delicious. So I'm just foiling that up for it to bake for a while. And then when those are just about cooked thoroughly, I like to throw on some more mozzarella cheese, let that melt a little bit. And of course, here is our dinner. I just had with that a nice salad and some wax and green beans. Now the next night, I'm starting by browning some beef and onions with a little bit of water, some wine, and some beef consomme, because what I'm going to be making is some beef stroganoff. And then I just let that simmer a while as I start to boil my extra wide egg noodles. This is the noodles that I like to serve it with. When the meat has been simmering away for a while, I like to add some fresh mushrooms. I stir that all together and let it simmer, and then I add in some daisy sour cream, as well as some cream of mushroom. When both the sauce and the noodles were done, I plated it up real nicely. and it was super delicious. I just paired it with some green peas. Really good meal, guys. I definitely recommend. Now the next night, I just made some classic hamburgers, hot dogs, and brats, but the hamburgers you see here are not just any ordinary hamburgers. These are what are called the Beyond Burgers, and honestly, as you can see them frying up here, they look just like real burgers. So this was our meal that night. We just had what you saw here along with some french fries, some baked beans, and a little bit of a fruit mixture. The next night, I just started by stir frying together some vegetables. Here you can see some broccoli and zucchini. And then I liked to add in some bean sprouts. And water chestnuts. where I add soy sauce and spaghetti noodles. It's such a favorite in my house and it's super simple, but super delicious. I always find myself going back to it.
and to be extra special I just added some stir-fried shrimp with this as well so here was my plate and then I will also show you the I guess you could say vegetarian version of this as well which is right here super good meal you guys I definitely would recommend and for our lovely dessert this evening we also had some cinnamon streusel cupcakes the next night for dinner, I started by sauteing some pork. We are having pork chops. And then I started on my version of green bean casserole. I just drained some cans of green beans and then added on some cream of mushroom. and stirred that up until it was well incorporated. With our green bean casserole, I just made a simple stuffing with some broth. Stuffing from Pepperidge Farm, definitely one of our family's favorites. So this meal we had some lovely pork chops with my green bean casserole with of course the French onions on top as well as a nice roll and some roasted potatoes, baked potatoes, whatever you want to call it. So these were the meals for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to show me that you want to see more and leave a comment of what you've been eating lately and how you are. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you guys soon.